He starts pulling that hand back to the inside. We trap it, and as we fall back down, we shoot that hand deeper. For now, though, we're going to look at what happens when he makes the second most common reaction, which is that he puts a lot of tension. He's trying to pull his elbow back into his ribs down here because he can feel that having this thing out of position like this is what's got him compromised. So as he tries to pull his elbow back in towards his body, look, here's what I want to do. We want to guide it and trap it with our leg here. As you do that, you're going to punch your hand deeper. Okay, so you're going to end up with the shoulder trap guillotine. So we get him back here and he starts pulling that hand back to the inside. We trap it and as we fall back down, we shoot that hand deeper. And now we're into a situation where really we don't need to do anything except move our hips towards him. So watch my bottom foot. I step and then I drive my body in and it's an incredibly tight choke. Incredibly tight get. Okay, so we fall off. He starts to pull and we follow that tension and punch deep right there. And now you can see how that just comes into the perfect spot on the other side. You can put your grip together almost however you want at this point. Just add your hip. A zero squeeze, like there's no squeeze at all. Okay, so do the whole sequence. Right there. Disgusting. Oh, I want to do it again. It feels so good. Man, it just feels so right. It's the cleanest choke, man. This is the scaff's baby right here. We're stealing secrets and divulging them to the people. All right, guys, enjoy that. Ready? One, two, three. So same position. Just want to talk about tracking this arm properly. So as I make my play right here, once we get over to this spot and I feel him starting to pull his arm back, I don't want to let him get over there and then try to react to it. Yes, you see, that's why right there. He, he's going to start getting the hands undone. So, and it's just going to be, I'm going to have to be way more dexterous and flexible in order to to trap his elbow at that point. So as he pulls back, I go with him. I follow him. And then I deepen it during that. I deepen it like this. I got him peeled out and I feel his arm go back. I follow with my hips. And then the weight of my body peels his elbow back open, not a squeeze with my legs. It's to keep it tight, it's the weight of my body over there. You see how I open it back this way? I don't let him keep it down there. I pull it up this way, and that pulls the hand tighter into the choke. There. So, really, in theory, you could just do it this way, but he's going to move. And so you trap the arm with the leg, and now he can't. He can't really move, and I don't even have to do anything. He starts panicking pretty bad. Yeah? So, that's good. Now send Nate. Nate! Look, peel the elbow. No, no, relax, relax. I peel the elbow back this way. Here. And then when I squeeze add my hip any of that you can almost just use whatever grip you want at that point here i saw some of you guys doing this all good you okay he said it's just real time it's real time you sounded kind of kind of rednecky when you said that that was good I'm proud of you man i'm proud of you <laughs> all right. um so make sure you track that elbow and weave that hand the rest of the way through you want to go just like that. Um, Keith, you're in. Yeah. Hey. So, same exact mm -hmm. sequence happens. Actually, I'm going to turn you around. When we get to here, the 
the him getting his back to the floor is due to me making an error of not controlling this this good enough so if we control this good enough he can't get his back to the floor he only has the option now of trying to get this back to his side and it just stay back in. that back to his side where we're going to go for that shoulder trap or he's going to try to do that while he tries to get up to his knees which is where i always catch this guillotine so as he starts to go up he peels his back i stuff this through and we're still going same exact thing that we did but now i'm not going to trap the shoulder i'm going to get this okay grip that i got from ben eddy like this and my four fingers not my thumb as well just my four fingers are going to go into that grip so i'm here and the idea is to get this just over his shoulder so he can't fight it's not necessarily a high elbow it's not this that i'm doing i just need to get this over his shoulder and you can see it's not really it doesn't seem like it takes much dexterity to get to this position so i'm here i want the anaconda he starts fighting he starts getting to here i get this okay grip four fingers and it goes over his shoulder so now if nathan tries to swim his arm over my shoulder to stop the guillotine he can't so now nathan's option is pass and go to the safe side it doesn't work so he goes to back to the floor and i follow him up into side control keeping this grip the whole time it's going to feel like you don't have the flexibility to do it if you try and involve your thumb on this this non-choking hand here like that it's going to feel like you're stuck it's just my four fingers going into this pocket here four fingers shoulder over here on top of his shoulder you're leading the grip on your right side with your pinky right it's like yeah it's your pinky is the most important part of the grip yeah on yeah. the right hand on this hand yeah yeah yeah, yes. yeah yeah okay so it's this the four fingers going in but it's the pinky that's going into that pocket here elbow comes over here so i find this takes a lot less flexibility than your typical high elbow grip when you're trying to get this over it just puts your hand uh, your elbow in the position more naturally so here we go for the anaconda i peel his arm back i'm looking for the anaconda or in that process he just realizes he can't get his back to the floor so he tries to pull his elbow back and get to his knees as he does that i'm here and i get this grip over his shoulder he tries to pass to the safe side doesn't work it gets tighter so he goes back to the floor and we follow him up into side control with that grip when you're trying to follow him up make sure you're actually pressing your chest into him otherwise it's going to feel like your legs are heavy you have to put some weight into him so your legs can move and get up to that position everyone got that on three one two three when you get to here don't be trying to do this flat on your back from here turn towards him as well and as he starts bringing his back to the floor i go with him and pull his head off on three one two three